Are you a working mom feeling overwhelmed and frustrated by all the demands on your time? If you feel like you can never catch up on your emails, if you haven't had a romantic dinner in weeks, and you can't even concentrate on a bedtime story, then you are not alone. But the best way to conquer your challenges is not some new time management app or even getting up earlier to plan your day. No, the answer is meeting other moms who have some great insights on coping with the overwhelm. I'm Diane Mocha. Welcome to Working Mom Warrior, where mothers of all different backgrounds share the ups and downs and hacks of juggling career and kids. We want to help you feel less stressed and be that tribe of girlfriends you wish you had alongside you to cheer you on every day. I remember those crazy years of my life when I was so overwhelmed with kids and work and everything else that I got pulled over for driving while exhausted. I am serious, that's not a joke. It was actually a wake-up call that sleeping four hours a night was not the way to tackle my to-do list, which kept growing every day because I was trying to keep the recession from killing my business and keep up with my enthusiastic kids who wanted to play every sport and sign up for every activity. And I said yes to all of it. I don't regret that, especially now that they're teenagers. But I wish I had more guidance, like the kind I'm bringing you today, from other working moms who share how they handle coping with being overloaded by kids and work. Everything from negotiating an ideal schedule to changing careers and all the stuff in between. It's a lot, but we manage. And you feel overwhelmed at times? Of course. I mean, who, who doesn't? You know, you have so many shoes to fill. You have the wife role, you have the mother role, you have the counselor to all your family members role, you have your coworker being a coworker and you know, that role. It, it, there are a lot of shoes and it can be overwhelming. And I'm not gonna lie about that. <laughs> and so what do you, how do you deal with that overwhelm? Because that can be stressful. We don't want to have stress. I mean, everyone has stress, but it can become too stressful. So I think that's where I rely on my girlfriends to get out and do our dinners once a month and hang out. And that's my decompression. And we party and we dance and we sing. And, you know, sometimes we have one too many and we get home and regret it the next day. But we all have a good time. And I think when you find your core group of friends, working moms or stay-at-home moms that support you, it makes life easier. My girlfriends, I talk to them maybe once a week. Some I talk to them twice a month. So. But at the end of the day, we're all there for each other. And I think that's key. And I wish more women were supportive of women. Couldn't do half of what I can do without that, without my tribe that I've made. And your tribe consists of working moms and stay-at-home moms? Actually, most of my tribe for Jackson and helping raise him is um, stay-at-home moms. I think there were two things that really got me through it. One on the negative side is you just don't have any choice. You have to work, you gotta pay the mortgage, you know, you gotta, you, you, the bills aren't gonna go away. The other thing is, the kids will get over it. You know, she doesn't even remember daycare anymore. It's been so many years that, you know, maybe a couple of years you have to do something you wish you didn't, and but they're gonna get over it. You give them so many other positive experiences in their life. Whenever I'm home, I try and make it as, be as present as possible. That's really what I look forward to. So that it's not, you know, just laundry and everything else and kind of let that stuff go and do it when I can, but um, try to have a lot of fun stuff to look forward to. You do have to work, but, um, and then you work when you get home, so you're not off of work, and you're, you're not off of work until he goes to sleep and everything. And then, you know, you can wind down and relax, but until knowing that he's taken care of just keeps me going working. And at times I just want to sit down and just veg and everything, and I, and I have to sort of like talk to myself and say, Hey, give him his attention, let him spend, you know, uh, let's, let's sit down, let's play a board game, you know, let's, let's do something or he'll ask me to watch a movie. Okay, I'll sit down and watch a movie with you. And my habit is to usually get into the phone and play games where my mind is not, you know, and I have to tell myself to put the phone down and just divide my attention to him. 
you know, feel like you want to pull your hair out some days, and but then there's other days that are great, and you remember why you had such a big family, and it all just makes it worthwhile. So it's every day is different, every day is new. But you just get through it. We're, it's a village, so my husband chips in, I chip in, the parents chip in. So I mean, we all just make sure that it all gets done. You have to manage your time, and it's it's not as easy, especially if you have three kids. Follow your heart and just ignore everybody else. Whether it's family or friends, you know, you know, you do what makes it work for your family. I feel like I just get bogged down in the stuff so much that I'm just like, I'm not fun anymore. And that's something that I'm working to change too. I take the morning shift, my husband does afternoon, and then I go to work and I don't have to worry about her because my husband has, it gets her in the afternoon, which is very helpful. And so what about in the summer? She goes to camp, she goes to friend's house, she uh, spends sometimes time at my, grandpa uh, my parents' house in the summer. But how does she get to those places? Friends rely heavily. Most of my friends don't work, so I rely heavily on my friends and family. But then also paying it forward to them. So when on Fridays when I am off work, I'll, I'm like, I'm picking up all the kids today. And then when I ask for help, I know that they're willing to do that because I've helped them out too. Just today we had to grab we had to grab dinner lunch out and dinner out because we were going you know to go into a swim meet and then coming here and trying to make it on time. And so people think they hear that oh that must be an excuse you know that you you know because can't you eat healthy but it's it's not an excuse. No, it's not and you know what could I have gotten a salad for dinner? I tried to eat that on the way down here I guess but it probably would have gotten to an accident. <laughs> yeah, I end up eating in the car, don't you? Yeah, absolutely, all the time. And talking. Yes. And doing business in the car. Absolutely. Yeah. So it was a rough week. And your boss was okay with that? Yes. My company is wonderful with work-life balance. We are off every Friday afternoon all year, so we do a lot of things on Friday afternoons to try to make up. I'm trying to make up for that time that I've lost. Everything, getting her off the bus on a Friday afternoon means a lot to me. And I do wake up at 6, 5 in the morning, and I get to work at 6, and I get home by 2, 30, 3 o'clock. So, I mean, that's a benefit in itself. <laughs> you do that for them? I do do that for them. And drink a lot of coffee for them? <laughs> Absolutely. So you've created your own work-life balance. Yes. With the help of your employer? Yeah. Well, yes. They're very flexible. Um, I, I don't know if I could have ever found a diff another employer that is so... They back you with family. So if I have anything, if my daughters have a recital at school, they give me that time off to go and be with them. Um, fam they know family comes first. They're a family-oriented company, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't go anywhere else. I think companies are coming around to that now. I think they see that, you know, a happy employee is going to work harder for you and if you have that flexibility with them, they're going to they're going to give you their heart and soul and I think that's what my company does and that's why I do wake up so early and I give them all I have when I'm there and I get home and I give my kids all I have when I get home. I think the key is finding an employer that believes in that as well. Um, we have a number of groups that work and actually this year our Women's Network goal is Balance for Better. Um, so my employer believes in that and I think it's important just to speak up and let your employer know what you want and what you need to make things work for you um, and not be afraid to have that voice. I didn't want to be super stressed out um, you know, with my husband and I rushing off to different jobs and a nanny taking over and, you know, running out of diapers and who's going to do this and spending our weekends catching up on all the errands. I just didn't want that life. It was too much stress. And that meant leaving my job. That was a, so that was a really hard decision and it was a sacrifice that I made for our family. I wanted to have the second career. I've always loved food. It was always a passion of mine. And then when I did, in fact, get a book deal, that was the moment where I, it was like, that was sort of legitimizing and made me feel like, okay, this, I, 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 this new career is valid. You know, different people can make different choices and I, and I think that women should have all those choices, but I'm, I wanted to be a really hands-on parent. It's gonna be things that happen that you're not gonna be able to go to and it's okay. You know, your child knows that you wanna be there and you're there in spirit, um, but there's gonna be things that you're gonna miss along the way and that's just gonna have to be that way. I talk to my daughter a lot about it. You know, I say, I'd, I'd like to be there, I wanna be there, and she understands that it, you just can't always do everything you wanna do. She can't do everything she wants to do. Me and my kids stay in and we do movies and hang out and eat junk food. It's like a no-brainer type of weekend. And we just relax, you know, we shut out the world. So you're not running to soccer games or basketball games every weekend? Sometimes, um, but I will say we, if mom needs a break, we'll skip it. 
because I think everybody, when we're on the go, 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 I think that's the mentality right now is everybody's on the go. You, you also need a mental break and just shut down and sit in the house and do nothing. And my kids appreciate that. It re-energizes them and it re-energizes our family bond when we do that. There's so much more I could have. I just appreciate what I do have. Um, and that's, I think that's the key to life right now is just embracing what you currently have and living in the moment. Now that you know other working moms who are feeling as frustrated as you are and that it will get better, you've got more strength to face the struggle day in and day out. And I want to help by giving you more strategies from other working mothers in my next video, which will give you the courage to conquer your challenges. So subscribe to my Working Mom Warrior channel and click on the next video to boost your mojo as you relate to the successes and the failures of other Working Mom Warriors who spill the beans so we all can benefit.